We want to use the graph to answer the following questions. Here's a given graph. This is a graph of y equal f of x. And these points here are labeled for us. So the first one says indicate the interval or intervals at which f is increasing. Then we're going to do the same thing for uh, decreasing. Okay, so if you're increasing, that means that as you move from left to right, it's always as you move from left to right, if you're looking for the part of the graph that is going uphill as you move from left to right. So as I move this way, I see that there's a piece of the graph that begins to go uphill right here. There's another one right here where it's going up as you move from left to right. When you indicate your interval, you're indicating only the x values for which the graph is increasing, and this is also x values at which it's decreasing. Between the x value of negative 3 and the x value of 0, the graph is going up. So I'm going to put from 3, negative 3 to 0, and that's going to be my first uh, interval. The second interval is this region over here. Between 2 and 4, between the x value of 2 and 4, I also have an, another part of the graph where it's increasing. So I'm using parentheses around here, and you'll see why I'm using parentheses in a second when I do this example. Decreasing would be as you move from left to right, you're looking for the part of the graph that's going downhill. There's a section of the graph right here that's going downhill. That's between the x value of 0 and the x value of 2. That's where the graph is decreasing. So this only has one answer. It's going to be from 0 to 2. Now the reason why I'm using parentheses here is because 0 belongs to 0 and 2 are actually belonging to both of these at the same time. So does is 2 belong to increasing or does it belong to decreasing? That's why I use parentheses. So technically at 0 and 2, that number is actually not included for increasing or decreasing. At that point, it's not either going up or going down. It's the kind of the dividing line there. So because of that, we usually use parentheses on here to indicate our intervals of increasing and decreasing. So next, list the number at which. This is a phrase that you'll see often that come up. And this whole phrase, list the number at which, that means it's asking you for an x value. If it asks for this question down here, what is the actual value or what is the, the relative max, that's asking for a y value. So if you see the phrase, list the number at which, that means it's asking you for what x value is there a relative max? A relative max occurs when you have an increasing part and you have a decreasing part. This point right here at 4, 2, that's not going to be a relative max because I don't have a decreasing part that comes after it. I only have this one right here. So it's asking you for what is the, the x value at which you have a relative max. Well, that's going to be 0. So the answer for that question is 0. That's the x value where you have a max because you have the phrase list the number at which refers to an x value. Same thing, list the number at which, another x value again, where f has a relative min. Okay, now relative min, you have to have a decreasing part and then an increasing part afterwards. It's the bottom of a valley that we see here. Negative 3, 0 is not a relative min because you don't have a decreasing part that comes before it. So it's got to, you have to have the complete set, decreasing and then increasing again. So that means that that answer is going to be 2. At that x value, at the x value of 2, that's where I have a valley happening. It's asking where it is, so that's why it's asking for x value. What is the relative max? All right, this is asking you for the y value. So where you have a max, we already said that 0, 3 was the relative max. We're asking for the y value. What is the actual y value? It's going to be 3. What is the relative min? It's asking you for the y value where you have a valley. The y value is going to be at 0. So that's going to be the answer for that one. We've answered all the questions.